or four years now. It feels like it. Ever since Battle and Brew closed down and moved to their new location, we've been rocking here at Wasteland Gaming in Duluth, Georgia, right outside downtown Atlanta. Check them out sometime, wastelandgaming.com. Huge venue, Dogie. Yeah. Wide open spaces, as you can see. Now, if all the light touches is our kingdom, that dark corner <laughs> over there is what we call the Smash Player section. Oh, we don't wow. wander that far. <laughs> Simba, you must never go there. You but, must never go there. But, I'm going to get yelled at on Twitter by, like, Smash players. Probably, because Papa, I want to play. Or their moms at that point. I want to play by the lids, Pop. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's past their bedtimes yet. or Man, I'm going to get beat up in the parking lot or something. And shanked by a 12-year-old. Anyway. You're going to get challenged to a Pokemon battle. Bro, I'm godlike at Pokemon. Really? Look, man. Some of us have been rocking Pokemon since 1996. These, these kids and their new gen stuff, <laughs> they don't know what's up. Red or blue? Blue. Blue. Blue all day. I had red when I started. I off. just ran through the Elite Four with Alakazam. Because back in the day when Alakazam was the best Pokemon on God's oh, Earth, because yeah. of how damage was, you know, statted in that game, Alakazam's like psychic, psychic, thunder punch on occasion, psychic. <sighs> all right. So we got Knowledge Re-Up back on stream against Chris Tendo. Now, Chris Tendo, a really good Zangief player, to my knowledge. He is, yes. And this is not one of the better matchups for Kami, I would think. Round one. Not entirely, Fight. but at the end of the day, you're still working with Kami. You still have a V trigger. So as long as you don't get completely demolished by one mix up or one setup, you're okay. And that's usually that's usually what a character like Geef, a, a grappler style character, needs. Is they just need to vortex you once, mm -hmm. and then they've taken about half your health away. And then you have to rush them down, which you never want to really do. You start to see why it's not really so bad for Cammy at the end of the day. Because she has her mobility to work with, so she can dance around the range. It's just a quest of can she pick and choose the right spot? Oh, EXSPD! Oh, Duff City! Dunked her right on her head. Yeah. And Chris Tendo was looking for the DP on Wake Up, nothing there, so he lets Nala skirt away. And oh, very smart. Chance. Chris Tendo jabbing her out of that hooligan combo. Yeah. Oh, Nadria pops the trigger. One more. Oh, did not build the bar for the super. That's unfortunate. He's got to be careful of Chris Tendo's V trigger now. It's the Russian Cyclone. Ooh! And he was actually pumping up the spears. I'm pretty sure he saw her. He had a good guess. Just wasn't there in time. Yes, exactly. Shout outs to EX. What is that? Cannon Spike? Cannon Strike. It's cannon Strike. Cannon Spike is the up one, right? I could yeah, be that's Cannon Spike. Could be horribly wrong. Everybody gets that mixed up all the time. The dive kick. <laughs> yeah, the dive kick, I believe, is strike. Ooh, the molly wop. The pimp fist by Zangief. How, how tough do you have to be to have hair on your shins? I mean, I, I got hair on mine, so not really. I mean, like, I don't have what looks like a bear. Oh, baby running bear grab. Speaking of bears. <laughs> yeah, running bear grab. Look, she's dead. That's just a dead woman. Like, her neck is broken. Oh, okay. But she somehow recovered because she's British, and they're tough in that country. Unless they're men and they're not tough. Wow. Rude. Shout out to the 1980s metal band in the background. Talking to the blind dude with the cane. Oh, no, they knocked the bucket on that poor guy's head. Oh, Molly Fist. Yeah, and that time he had a um, good look for it, got there. The oh, punching her again. Just right in the mouth. Cammy White, got to be careful. But Knowledge re has got a good lead here. Nice hooligan throw. Yeah, he's thinking tired of seeing the armor, so he's just going for, like, various grabs. I like various grabs. That should be the name of a player is various grabs. That's your Marvel Infinite in there? What's up? Various grabs. That's your Marvel Infinite in there. Oh, you're right. No, I was going to go by Wesley Pipes, but... This guy. <laughs> oh, I forgot to enter his Lariat Tubman. Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me, stream. Speaking of Lariats... Knowledge re-up doesn't care about it, and he goes up 1-0 here in winner's semis. Chris Tendo saying, nah, nah, nah. I let him have that one, because everybody gets one. It's the G, it's the GB special, the GGC special as well. As I was taught by Grief, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. He had about like nine or 10 of them, though. Fair. Good looks at uh, the armor coming out, went around I'm it. I'm salty at these immaculate beards. Really? These immac they are pretty immaculate. Fight. Like, knowledge re-up just looks like Chris Tendo in the future. <laughs> Like, much more better groomed beard, like, more complete. It's like his final form. So he's going to get off the grapplers and work with more agile and mobile characters? Exactly. Or they're going to buff Zangief and give him, like, a teleport or something. Eh, hey, you're asking for too much. He didn't even have that in, like, Marvel 2. Look, I'm telling you guys right now, the character we need in this game is Two-Eyed Sagat. Stop. It's Sagat that with depth perception. That's the deadliest character of all. That does not need to be brought on. That's like giving a tiger a gun. Musa agrees with me. 
As we were saying all that, Knowledge Re-Up is just mauling Chris Tendo right now. Hooligan throw. And he's going to be on match point. Had a good idea that he was going to go for that Pierce one more time. Snaps it out of his hands and dug it down. Round yep. two. Fight. Now, I like that Cammy is dressed like a member of MI6. Very nice. Shout out to the James Bond films. Running Bear Grab. No, those are movies I actually watch. Oh, there you go. James Bond movies are good. I love Skyfall. One of my favorite ones. Oh, shoot. The game's gone over here, Musa. It came back. It's gone again. <laughs> now it's back again. Musa over here. I let Musa run the stream again. And this is what happens. It's OK. We still got a match. Stop complaining. I, you're right. Well, we have what looks like a match, but Chris Tendo getting, oh my god, he's going to do it again. Yeah, he's gotten his favorite toy taken away from him, so he's kind of struggling to figure out what to do at this point. Went for the Fierce, got that thrown. Went for the v skill, that got scooped too. So what does he do at this point? Eventually calm down. Ooh, hit her with a bionic elbow. Yeah, but he needs a lot more. That'll work. That's a good start. All right, here we go. Stun. Not oh. quite. But he's so afraid of a DP. Doesn't care. Sets the blender to spin and finally gets a round on the board. Final round. Is it enough to get out of this game? Let me know when you can play marble, okay? All right, Chris Tenno got a game on the board here. He got a round. He got a round. That's right. They call them rounds in this. We don't have rounds in marble. I get confused. Ooh, running bear grab. Another armor, but that's the big thing. He, loves armor so much. he tried to go for the Lariat to snipe that hooligan combo. Oh, wake up, SPD. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Duncan on her. Oh, went for it again. I would have gone. I would have read the jump. And I mean, for all the times that he let knowledge off his back, he was convinced that if he ticked him and he took the ticket, he could pass it. That he was going to be there. He thought wrong. Knowledge re up saying, "I'm action, Hank, not you," and advances <laughs> on to winners finals of the tournament, where he'll take on Joel. That Cami versus Akuma. Cami versus Akuma, because Joel is not going to play Ryu. As he shouldn't. I don't even think Daigo plays Ryu anymore. No, but I mean. Dark times when Daigo won't play Ryu. Not really. I can tell you the last time he didn't play Akuma, or he didn't play Ryu. Yeah, it was third strike. He played Ken. No, nope. AE. Oh, yeah, he played Evil Ryu. No, uh, that was the end of, uh, no, that was AE 2012, which I did forget about that. I think at AE when he played Young. Oh, that's right. When he lost, he got mauled by Poonko. Uh huh. Poonko ran up on stage and stole his wallet and his clothes. Yeah, that that character that everybody picks on Daigo, but if you look through history, he hasn't always played Ryu. No, he hasn't. You're absolutely right. Ryu has just been like he used to play Balrog too, didn't he? Uh, Balrog, Way back in like um, Super, Super Turbo, Turbo yeah. Mm -hmm. Ryu was more like his Street Fighter Four vanilla character because he didn't really like Ken, I guess, because he played Ken all through Third Strike. That's because Ken was clearly better though. 